Qualcomm just unveiled its new Snapdragon 888 top-tier system on chip, which will be powering some of the biggest flagship smartphones in 2021, and we've got a good idea of what many of those handsets will be. Qualcomm has already confirmed a number of manufacturers who will be using its brand new chipset, which boasts improvements in 5G connectivity, AI smarts, gaming, and photography. The phone makers set to use the Snapdragon 888 in future handsets are Asus, Blackshark, Lenovo, LG, Meizu, Motorola, Nubia, Realme, OnePlus, Oppo, Sharp, Sony, Vivo, Xiaomi, and ZTE. If we look at ASUS 2020 phones, this Zen Phone 7 was the main handset with the 865 chip, so it makes sense for the Zen Phone 8 will come with the Snapdragon 888. It's worth noting ASUS also has its gaming-focused ROG lineup, but previous generations have used an Update Plus variant of Qualcomm's top-end chip, so keep an eye out for the 888 Plus in 2021. Xiaomi-owned Black Shark will be particularly interested in the new Snapdragon Elite gaming features packed into the Snapdragon 888 as it builds gaming-focused smartphones. We wouldn't be surprised if the Black Shark 4 shows up with a 144Hz screen for ultra-smooth refresh rate action. LG no longer has its G series of flagship phones, but its V series of high-end handsets are still going strong, and the next one in line for launch is the LG V70 Think. It will be interesting to see what LG can do with the Snapdragon 888, as the South Korean firm tends to think outside the box for some truly unique offerings. Motorola's most exciting phone of 2020 was its Razr 5G foldable, but that features a Snapdragon 7 series chip, which leaves just the Edge Plus as the only recent Moto phone with Qualcomm's top chip inside. With that in mind, we'd expect the successor to this handset to come with the Snapdragon 888. The OnePlus launch schedule has become predictable over the years, and we fully expect the Chinese manufacturer to follow up on 2020's 8 and 8 Pro, with the OnePlus 9 and 9 Pro in 2021, with the Snapdragon 888 inside. Oppo's flagship X line is becoming well established in the market, and the next generation will likely utilize the power of the new Snapdragon 888 chipset. The current incumbents in the lineup the X2 and X2 Pro both pack the 865, so the progression is a clear one here. Questionable naming aside, Sony's flagship smartphones tend to have a big camera focus, so we expect it to take advantage of the new ISP features on the Snapdragon 888 for its next handset, which will likely be the Sony Xperia 1 III. Xiaomi has confirmed that the Xiaomi Mi 11 will be one of the first handsets to launch with Snapdragon 888. We expect manufacturers to be confirmed over the coming months as well. One of the big names missing from the initial list is Samsung, and it's worth noting the Galaxy Z Fold 2 and Galaxy Z Flip both use Qualcomm's top-tier Snapdragon chips around the world. Even if the Galaxy S21 and Galaxy Note 21 feature Samsung's own Exynos processors, we could well see its next generation of foldable phones pack the Snapdragon 888. That's the end of this video let us know your thoughts in the comments section below I will see you in the next one.